sure that these are as long. You hit me first. It's up to you. I don't think it really makes a difference, does well, it? Not in any rush. Right, Nick, welcome to Hampton Court Palace. How are you finding it? We're a long way into this round because we've gone through so many groups. We've gone through seven, haven't we? Gone through seven. Seven and we're Yeah. Yeah, it's, um, it's all right. Okay, well, we'll do the first three questions because what are we on? 14. Yeah. So we'll do the first three questions. Yeah. So, clubhouse and facilities. Um, Everything well, pretty much the pro shop, and that was shut, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, so that that to me marks it down, if I'm honest, because everywhere is open now, isn't it? Yep. Um, go two. Okay. Yeah, polite two. Course condition. I mean, it's, again, it's hard. There's a lot of patchiness. I'm, I'm gonna go two again. Okay. And value for money. So we have paid. £25 each for the round, yep. but we've paid £5 each for a buggy, so this has actually only cost you 30 quid for 18 holes and a buggy. Yep. Where, would you rate, where would you rate that? I'd probably go five. Yep. It's, yeah, as much as it's probably not the hardest golf course or anything in the world, m money wise, I think I'd, I'd come back here with the boys, like, you know, I think it'd be decent. So, yeah, yeah, I'd go five. Okay, cool. That's not perfect, I don't know what it is. <laughs> so modest. <laughs> so I would give Hampton Court Palace, I'm going to say a 3 out of 10 for, a 3 out of 5 for clubhouse and facilities. So I think the facilities are okay here. They've got a quite a good driving range and they've got sort of a shortish game area, more chipping and just putting. Uh, the clubhouse nice, uh, it's presentable. It's actually quite a nice looking clubhouse from the outside as well, which I think marks it up a little bit, so I'll go three out of five for that. Course condition, I'll probably be down at a two or a three. So around here, they do have deer. So obviously trying to keep the, the deer off the golf course is impossible. So the golf course is never going to be pristine because the deer are walking across it, eating the grass, etc. But I think I'd, I'd, that's what I would give it. I'll give it a three. And then value for money is a, is a five. Any time you can play golf for 25 quid and then get a buggy for a five or each, I think that's worth it. So I think 30 quid for 18 holes and a buggy is highly worth it and I'll, it's an automatic five for me. Too much. All right, Nick did say if, there's, if it wasn't perfect then nothing was, and he is. Although there was a moment of worry. Well, I was kind of just hoping that that was going to be him. I'm not sure how someone's lost that, to be honest. Find out what it is. I won't bother zooming that one. Oh. As at any golf course, an AD, free, free, free. What are you looking at? 
160 something. Yeah. Well, to me, I think the, ye the yellows have been up the back, haven't they? I imagine yellow's the middle, white's back, red's front. You know what? I've only just realised that. I haven't seen a yellow, I haven't seen a white flag though. Have you not? No. Okay. I, I, I might be wrong, but I can't recall to get one. Splosh. Listen, that's a bunker. Yeah, that's a bunker. <clears throat> I tell you what, this course has done. This course, I think, has held up pretty well considering the amount of rain we had last night. Yeah, yeah, can't argue that. Must say, to have buggies out, like yeah. there's a lot of golf courses. I had Lambros being one, like yeah, there's yeah, no nice. chance. But you probably wouldn't be allowed an electric trolley out. Yeah. If the course is open. If yeah, exactly, I did. I, I did think that this morning. I wonder if it's going to be, be open. Be interesting to see. Like Lambros, eh? Oh, we might be under attack in a minute. Let's go. Yeah, they're all right. Harmless. You're the one that wants to leave them. There they are, the parade. Where's your pop? Uh, just over here, mate. without a drop. Well, I think we've had like two drops, haven't we? Okay, the last two, Nick, through 15 holes, is the golf course level of difficulty. Yep. Uh, what are you going to score that at? Um, it's not running very far at all, is it? Because of the, because of the wet, mm -hmm. which has made it difficult. Where the fairways aren't great, yep. it's made it a bit trickier as well. So I'll we're not allowed to do half stars, are we? No. I'll go. For, I'll go for a three. Okay. And likeliness to recommend. Um, again, for us, it's like an hour and ten minutes away or so, wouldn't it? But yeah. that's going through like Kingston Town Centre, almost, oh, wouldn't it? Nightmare. That which was. was awful. Um, so you've got to give yourself like hour and a half at least to get here. Yeah. So I'd probably say two stars, just because from where we are, yep. it's hard to get here. And right, it's not, okay. not down to the golf course as such, because I think the guys are probably like it here, mm -hmm. but it's just, I don't think they'd like the journey. And that's that would mark it down to me. So what So, so, what, so what would you give it, what would you give it if, if, it, was travel, if it wasn't travel? If it's literally recommend to come and play here without travel, just being I'll here? Go for, go, I'll go four. Okay. I'll go four for the golf course itself. But like I say, from where we are, yeah. I'd go two. So. You wouldn't want to recommend it to people because of the hassle yeah. it, it is yeah. to get here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, from where we are. I won't stand here whilst you're at that. <laughs> if you wouldn't mind just getting out of the way, that'd be lovely. That is easy. Hang on. Oh, yeah, that's alright. Do you? Must have at least two shots down this, huh? So you must have two shots down this, huh? <laughs> So golf course level of difficulty, I'll give this a two. It's one of the easiest golf courses I've played this year. I mean, yeah, the condition maybe take, makes it a little bit tougher. You get some quite hard to hit out of the fairways. Um, and where today it's been, it's been raining last night, like I say, I think the course has done very well to be open anyway. Um, hitting off them deadpan lies when it's wet is obviously very tricky, but I'll give it a two. It's one of the easiest golf courses I've played this year. Um, and then likeliness to recommend, I'll give it a four. I think it's great value for money. Um, and it's quite an enjoyable course to play. Now, someone said to me that they thought it was a very boring course, and I can see how they say that. But I think it's quite an easy golf course to play. It's quite an easy walk as well. It's quite flat, so people that find it difficult to get round the golf course or 18 holes, I think, will, will get round here quite nicely. But I think overall, I think it's a four. Great value for money and somewhere that I would recommend to, to other people. So we'll just finish off here and then uh, we'll look and see where this one sits in with everyone else that we've done. I think we're episode seven or eight now. So starting to uh, get a proper top 10 going. So All right, I'll see you in a minute.
Well, yeah, I think they're well, they're past the 150. It's 440, so into winter. Like I was saying earlier, this, uh, this is the first time I've really feel, felt challenged and pressured on the tee. <laughs> yeah, but you put that challenge on yourself. <laughs> I don't think you're getting anywhere near him, mate. Yeah, I don't, but I'm just going to let him in. I, sort of looked, I looked up and looked at the 150 and thought, oh, he's, he's almost on that. Not that I'm going to get there, is No. It's very courteous of you. Oh, it bounced. It bounced. Well, we went for something a little different there. Uh, that's alright. That's about the right club as well. Tough out of it. But Nick, yep. seems as we've done it like this last time, it seemed to work quite well. Yep. Yep. We are at Perford, playing in the the next re the next one of the Lynx Advisor series. But what we're going to do is we're just going to recap Hampton Court Palace. Right. So for the first time since doing this, I actually rated a golf course higher than you did. So I rated it 17 out of 25. You were 16 out of 25 which gave it an overall rating of 6.6 .6 right. out of 10. I think the good points were value for money and likely us to recommend. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the Where it lost stars was probably course difficulty yeah. uh, and course condition. So yeah. where do you reckon that 6.6 .6 out of 10 leaves it? Because there's only one golf course that's lower, which is Pedham, which was mainly value for money, but I don't think that was a f fair I think, comparison. I think Pedham's tougher, yeah. personally. Um, but, yeah, where would, but where would 6.6 .6 sit with you in terms of having Lid, Seaford and Isle of Purbeck just above it? Um, I don't know really. Yeah, I mean, I mean Purbeck's silly, silly, silly harder, wouldn't it? Seaford was, I think, probably the best course, one of the best courses we played. Um, what was the other one you said? Lid. Lid, yeah. I'd, I'd say it's on par with Lid, yeah. you know, because it was just a bit up down. Mm go rounds yeah I mean I, I, I actually enjoyed Ham, Hampton Court Palace to be honest and I'll put it up there as my enjoyment the same as Seaford okay. so I would say although it's 6.6 .6, I would I would put it level with the sevens yeah. maybe even 7.2 maybe just better than some of especially yeah. Lid or something yeah. like that yeah I think better than, I'd say better than Lid but I wouldn't say on par with Seaford yeah. personally but yeah I suppose that's your that's what you think but you, did you enjoy You enjoyed the day, you enjoyed yeah, yeah, yeah. You thought it was good yeah, value. Yeah, it was, decent. it was decent. And then talking to the guy afterwards as well, the general manager or whatever he was, mm -hmm. um, it was him that recommended him to come here, wasn't yep. it? So hence, we're here now. And decent here as well, yep. isn't it? So. Cool. So there are our thoughts on it. I actually think the Hampton Court Palace is better than probably what the rating come out at, but I think it's more to do with the course difficulty and the course condition rather than the value for money. Um, I would, like I say, I would put it up with, uh, on par with the sevens, maybe even the seven, maybe even the seven point two, um, just nudging in front of probably something like lid. Um, so if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you like what you see, then make sure you subscribe, and we'll see you down here for the next one at Perford, where it's the same group as uh, Hampton Court Palace, but it's actually really, it's a lot nicer here. I'm actually really enjoying this round. So see you in the next one.